how do you make over two thousand dollars every month and make sure you are not stuck in a nine to five you still have your freedom you remember there are three most important parts of freedom right financial freedom location freedom and time freedom right so in the world we are today in this generation of the beautiful internet ai and the rest you need to think for yourself how can i achieve these three freedoms in whatever work i'm doing and more importantly make enough money to take care of myself and my loved ones live that lifestyle that you truly desire right so today i'm going to be breaking this down one how you can make two thousand dollars five thousand dollars from the comfort of your home as a beginner let's start with what you should not do because a lot of people keep making this mistake they keep doing things they should not do and we need to start from there number one you need to start with whatever has a low barrier of entry don't start thinking of starting farming importing rice or beans no you need to start with anything that requires little or no capital. $50 capital, $20 capital, as little as possible, right? So you want to capitalize on anything that has a low barrier of entry. The bigger you think of trying to join something huge, the more problem you are going to have. So I'll tell you, leave e-commerce alone, leave drop shipping alone. The reason number two, is you need to do anything that is predictable i've been in business for almost a decade now i've done a lot of online businesses i've made millions of dollars online and one thing rings true if you try to do businesses like drop shipping you are not in control right i've had situations where friends of mine they imported bags from china and all of a sudden it ceased or it delayed before you know it before you start to sell this product you are wasting a lot of time you are spending so much on capital but at the end of the day there is nothing to show for it right so this leads me to number three start something that is self-reliant if you are doing things like forex trading crypto trading this is not self-reliant it is reliant on a lot of other factors you cannot predict it you cannot control it it is not reliant on yourself on your own skills with your own hands forex trading they could be saying oh president donald trump was almost assassinated everywhere scatters <laughs> so you need to be careful about that especially as a beginner don't get into things that are reliant on news reliant on everything else but yourself forex trading crypto trading they're usually fond of this thing and the last one is of course do not fall for ponzi schemes or doing things like bet ninja stop thinking that you don't have to work to make money there is this idea that has been roaming around the internet that you need to make passive income no forget passive income focus on active income first of all those things Things, they come later as a beginner you want to invest your money in the right places and not expecting it to multiply on its own due to this due to that so i advise you if you're a beginner you don't even have money right what is 50 dollars what is 40 dollars you really don't have a lot of money to waste and when you don't have so much money the other currency that you have which is very important is your time right you cannot tell me you don't have money and you don't have time you must have one of these two so if you don't have money the currency that you have right now is your time as a beginner understand that for money to move from one person's hand to another person's hand value must be exchanged so it can be in different forms maybe this person is selling you a book and you're paying for that book right value is exchanged right so this will lead me to the important things you need to note 
when starting to make money online to make your first two thousand dollars five thousand dollars as a beginner now you want to ask yourself how can i create the most value so that i can earn a huge amount when i started business a long time ago i made this mistake of getting into things like travel blogging i made some money but it was not reasonable enough because of what because of this simple principle of value you need to understand that you are paid in proportion to the value you bring to the table so very simply you need to understand that there is a reason why an engineer is paid more than a cleaner because an engineer is the one that built the Eiffel Towers in Paris France but a cleaner cleans the floor which is still noble work don't get me wrong but there's a difference because the other one brings in more value to the table so they earn way more and this is where learning a service-based skill so you can start a simple service-based business online comes in when i mean a service-based business a lot of people think that you need to go and you know start a company no 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 no, no. it has a very low barrier of entry so this is why a service-based business is the easiest thing for you to do it requires you putting in your time and not necessarily your money right so there are different service-based businesses out there there are lots of them about 10 of them can get you to two thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars if you know what you're doing right but you need to start somewhere so you need to ask yourself out of this service-based businesses which one do i feel drawn to right so i'll be mentioning a few for you now you can be a video editor for youtubers they get youtubers videos they cut it into little videos and put on tiktok instagram and the rest this is their job right number two copywriting you can help businesses write sales messages when you buy a product and you look at the back of those products you see all those things written on it they are written by copywriters when you go to a website and you see everything written there they are written by copywriters so copywriters are very powerful because they are the people that influence us to spend our money every single day a lot of businesses are looking for copywriters all over the world in the us especially and in the uk you need to know how to position yourself to get to work for these people and get paid the next one is content marketing you need to know the art of content marketing some influencers business owners personal brands they focus on one social media platform so you need to know how to pick those things from those people and duplicate it put them in other platforms what do i mean for the longest of time i was putting tweets out on twitter building my audience on twitter got to thirty thousand followers and i decided to move to instagram i built got to more than ninety thousand followers i decided to move from there to tiktok on tiktok i have more than 100,000 followers what am i trying to say i couldn't have done all these things myself i needed a team i needed a content marketer i could brainstorm with i could strategize with for each of these platforms and these guys i pay them six figures then of course we have email marketing if you check your gmail right now you receive emails from different companies when rihanna started her fenty brand right fenty hair not long ago you know she sent out emails telling people that we have launched we have we are no longer doing just makeup fenty makeup we are now doing fenty hair boom amazing beautiful rihanna didn't write those emails herself it was an email marketer that wrote those emails strategized and the waiting list for Rihanna's hairs was crazy. A lot of people were waiting. And once Rihanna launched her hairs, people bought it like crazy. So all these things are done by email marketers. You see that there are lots of things you can learn. But to cap it all off, you need to understand that a service-based business is what will take you from point A to point B. See, I need you to understand something. It is very hard to start from zero and move to one. But once you get to level one, it's easy to get to level nine. So the main thing is if you're earning zero income or very little income right now, and you want to start earning in the thousands, understand that this is your toughest time. 
the moment you can crack this current situation, you are going to start moving up from there. You are going to be financially comfortable easily. It is harder to go from zero to your first $1,000, $2,000 online than to go from $2,000 to $12,000. Quote me anyway. So understand that this is the hardest time. But what you need to do is make sure you have the right vehicle. You have the right plan. Because a lot of people make this mistake of not knowing where to start and getting into the wrong places. You see yourself trying to get into tailoring when you are thinking of making $2,000 easily from the comfort of your home. No, tailoring is not going to help you get there. Shoemaking is not going to help you get there. I've been opportune to help about 800 people become successful writing online, just simply selling different services over the internet. And I remember one of them talking about how they were into shoe making and not making a lot of money before they learned service-based businesses. Then this guy went on to make a lot of money from these service-based businesses. He would now invest in his shoe making and take it to the next level little by little. So it is very simple. Understand that it is a process, right? And understand that you cannot have money and not have time you must have one of them. So for me, I made a lot of mistakes in my own journey. I tried to do different things, but once I started to succeed, once I understood this formula, everything opened for me. I started making $2,000, got to $5,000, $10,000 easily by simply hopping on these skills. So you want to be in a place where you learn a very good skill start an amazing online business then start to top it up from there imagine being a tiktok content marketer from there you start to develop something more than tiktok you could start podcasts and everything will be influenced from your marketing skills from your public speaking skills from different skills you learned under content marketing so the most impressive thing about all this is once you start you start to stack skills upon skills and they help to break your financial barriers and before you know it you see that this little thing you started the other day as a copywriter as an email marketer as a video editor in two years you are somewhere amazing you're working with big brands shaking hands with the who is who's in society because you started on the right path so this is a mistake i don't want a lot of you guys to make that's why i'm talking about it right now so when you start making all this money how do you sustain it how do you keep it how do you increase it and move one step after the other so we'll be creating more videos on this i would advise you to subscribe because every week i'll be talking about how you can keep your money how you can grow your money how you can make a lot of money and while doing all this you're developing yourself so that when you rise to the top you don't fall uh, subscribe turn on the notification bell i can't wait to talk to you very soon i hope you enjoyed yourself and learned it in or two if you did leave a comment for me see you next week stay intentional Cheers.